Today's video is about comics, the ones that I read, ones that I've read, and a few recommendations. Just in case it turns out you're a bit like me, and a bit like me means that I actually quite like comics. I think they're fun. As a kid, we had a family friend. They had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of old Disney comics, Huey, Dewey and Louie and Richie Rich and Scrooge McDuck and Mickey Mouse comics. So they were my first comics that I, <laughs> that I ever read. When I was a late teenager and um, in my early 20s and I was buying comics for myself, I found it a bit tricky to find things that I actually wanted to read. I'd never really connected with superheroes, or at least I didn't think I did. Um, and most comics um, then as now are really aimed at boys. Somehow or other I managed to persist anyway and find a few things that I enjoy. Firstly, Grew the Wanderer. It's a really funny comic drawn by... Sergio Arane, I don't know how you say his name, he's the guy that used to do the spy versus spy in the margins of Mad Magazine. And Sergio had this character called Guru, who was a direct rip off of Conan the Barbarian, uh, but he was funny. And uh, he had a character that used to follow him around called the Bard, who only ever spoke in verse. And he had a faithful dog called Referto and the storylines were repetitive and the jokes were repetitive but they were colourful and fun and I loved them. The other comic that I read a lot of as a young person was completely different it was an, a British comic called 2000 AD. I'm not really sure if this is still going or not. I read this for years. I have hundreds and hundreds of these things in a box in the in the garage. Um, it came out weekly it was um, lots of different storylines in each prog. The uh, different issues were called progs. Uh, they were mostly science fiction stories. Lots of them were quite violent. Um, the, I don't know, the, the reason that I kept going back for these were the, the writing was really good. Another thing I picked up a few editions of was this Tales from the Crypt. It came out, uh, out at under a few different names. They were reprints of old horror comics and horror is not my thing but something about these was a bit compelling and I bought a few editions and actually buying these and reading them gave me a taste for older comics and it, it made me start looking out old comics. One of the things that I've done usually when I'm on holidays actually I'll find a secondhand bookstore or an op shop or something and I'll you know, have a look around for old comics and I've picked up a few really fun things like doing that over the years. But in short, even though I enjoy comics, at some point it just didn't seem to fish. Once I kind of got a job and wore grown-up clothes, I kind of dropped comics. I started reading comics again quite recently, mainly because I was reading about other people reading comics on Book Riot and things like that. <laughs> the title that actually got through my layers of um, NUI about <laughs> going into a comic store again, which I wasn't really super excited about doing because <laughs> I found it a bit oppressive as a teen, as a, you know, 20 something chick. And now I'm old. So, you know, I wasn't really super looking forward to trying it again. But uh, the title Lumberjanes really got to me. So um, for, you know, maybe obvious reasons. And so I thought I really had to go and check this out. So I went and I picked up the first uh, two, I think, were out when I first um, got one. And I, I loved it. I love these books. They, they've got um, strong female characters. They've got a bunch of girls together having adventures. The artwork is great. The writing is sufficiently entertaining. They're also um, fine for my kids to read, which is something of a concern. A lot of comic books are not actually super child friendly. But yeah, Lumberjanes is great. Once you're in a comic store, you start picking up other comics. So another one that I've really got into is Adventure Time a spin-off from the cartoon series and quite a lot of spin-off comics are not that great. 
this one is really good. The writing's really good. The stories are really good. In fact, it's a toss-up for me whether I prefer the TV, the cartoon, or the comics, um, which is, you know, saying something because they're pretty good cartoons. I have been rethinking my abhorrence of superheroes and because because on reflection I realized that two of my favorite tv shows of all time are actually about superheroes I don't call them that but that in all to all intents and purposes that's what they are and both of these shows have their own comics <laughs> so I've been buying both of them there's the Buffy comics which are great comics really well written and of course it lets those of us of a certain age pretend that Buffy's still on tv if you have not seen Buffy, then all I can say is go out now and watch Buffy. And once you finish watching Buffy, get the comics because they're still putting them out every month. My other favourite superhero of all time is Doctor Who. <laughs> um, and these, these comics aren't that great, but they're good enough for me, a Doctor Who tragic, to buy them. So apart from them, there is one actual caped costumed superhero who I have picked up and I am attempting to read and enjoy and so far so good and that's Ms Marvel and um, the reason that I picked her and am working on my superhero you know not so much thinking is the writer G Willow Wilson she wrote a really great novel that I read and enjoyed earlier in the year called Ale of the Unseen I've Apart from these three, a few other quick recommendations of things that I'm reading at the moment. Um, the Jim Henson Witches um, books. Uh, I, there are two of them out so far that I've seen. The art is amazing. The Fade Out, which really contravenes my not bringing uh, extreme comics into my house <laughs> rule. But the art is so good I couldn't not. And so far, anyway, it hasn't been that violent, that graphically violent. So I've been buying them and I'm going to keep buying them. My ultimate comic book dream is being published at the moment, which is a Gru versus Conan team up. And how could I not buy that? And just in case somebody else has young people that they're looking for comics for, Rocky and Bullwinkle. Um, my kids love and Uncle Grandpa, which is there's the first ones just out recently. My eight year old thinks is the best comic ever. So, you know, that is a recommendation. That's all from me for now. I'll talk to you later. Bye.